I'm an added reader of Forbes' list of richest people, and one thing I find synonymous with most of them is that they've got diversified business interests. It's a motivation for most of us because we have to actually strive to get our hands into one or two money-making or more money-making activities. I think the possibility of striking gold is always higher when we have our hands in quite a number of things. That's a tip, right? This is Binge with Game Changers, where we capture success from different perspectives. We delve into the minds of people with celebrated brands and careers who have turned their dreams into reality and their ideas into lucrative empires. Welcome to the show, and I'm your host, Shay Banije. See you when we talk. Welcome back to the show, and yes, you are about to meet hmm, my guest. I'm excited, guys. Today we have someone really special with us, and I'll just introduce him. From producing sold-out comedy shows, to creating best-seller Nollywood movies and sitcoms, to breaking world records, my guest today is a modern-day comedian who is passionate about making people happy and stringing in the money while at it. He's the CEO of Corporate World Entertainment and producer of AY Live, one of the biggest comedy shows in Nigeria till date. He now holds in not just Nigeria, but in Europe, actually. Yeah, he's global. He's global. <laughs> Ewa is an actor. He's a comedian, radio and TV presenter, business tycoon, I'd like to call him. He's, honestly, the list is endless, and I'm excited to have him on the show. Welcome, Ewa. <laughs> Thank you very much. With all Why that, were you laughing when they, I was No, no, they, they are colleagues, like, oh, wow, Why, like, you've worked for it. Well. Breathe in, own it. It's you. Okay, it's mine. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah, you look yeah. good. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for coming on the show. I appreciate it. It was exciting reading up on you. Mm -hmm. Researching you was mind blowing. Oh, really? Yes. Cause tell, tell me about I'll that. I'll tell you. So, first <laughs> of all, yeah, I noticed you, you lost your parents when you were quite young. Mm -hmm. And in the process, you ha got quite a number of jobs. I read you. You're a barber, a bartender, wow. scavenger. No, you what, did the research. The one that interested <laughs> me was they wrote the dry cleaner. And I said, no, he must have been mm -mm. a washerman. Were mm -mm. well, you a dry cleaner or washerman? Uh, you call it laundry, call it anything you want to call it now. But then we used to call it dry cleaner. Ah, yeah. I see you. I know it. <laughs> anyway, but, but okay, so which of these jobs would you say you actually loved the most? Back, like back then, which would you say excited oh. you the most? Uh, um, there's also one called Bodman. Bodman. Yeah, yeah, you are an Ajibota, you will understand. Bodman. If you, if the, the game of table tennis, okay. uh, where, where people pay to come and play. All right. So you usually have somebody who's the Bodman who collects the money from people and who also, uh, you know, have the ability to play you and beat you so that you can pay more. Were you that person? So I was that person. Oh my, that must have been fun. And I was, uh, so I was left-handed, so. Oh. As in, as a lefty, you know, when you smash, you smash. They don't pick it. Oh wow! But so yeah. we add that to the list. Now it was a board <laughs> man, board man. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. You were in school for nine years. I mean, mm -hmm. I reckon your course was meant to be four mm -hmm. years. Why didn't you just ditch the thing at, at some point? It, it's tracking that like you, you uh, stayed at it. Why? Still part of the parenting thing that we're How talking was about. So you know, uh, education. We all know is our passport to the future. And of course, uh, not everyone. What, so a lot of people are dropping out these days. Yeah, they are because uh, uh, they they have their own guiding principles and they have their own uh, uh, understanding of what they are into and what they are doing. Mm -hmm. and so for me, uh, it was different. Different in the sense that I probably uh, could have done all of that, but then it was a promise I made to my mom. Like uh, no matter what, I'm just going to come out. A graduate. There's no telling your story without mentioning Alibaba. Oh, yes. Yes, you know, obviously we all know you were his personal assistant for years mm -hmm. and all of that, but something struck me, you know, when I read that part of your story, that he actually met you when he came to your school for a program, for a show you organized, you're a yes. show promoter. Yeah. And he saw how excellent your work was and then said, you know what, guy, you're working for me. Mm -hmm. What was it about you that wowed this man so much? Because he took uh, you in as a stranger. Uh, yeah. Um, what were the qualities? He, uh, he, he, according to him, if I may quote him. Please quote him, He, yeah. said, he said to me, um, um, when we went to give him his balance after the show, he, 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 he already lost confidence in students paying up. According to him, when it's time to pay balance, their phone, they switch off, you know, and then you begin to... And then he was taken aback that I came with his balance, and then he said to me that he wasn't expecting it. And uh, besides, your sense of packaging, 
is tight. I don't think you belong here. When you're done schooling, for me, I come to Lagos and make yourself useful. Mm -hmm. That those ways uh, is so words. Would you say integrity or what yeah. was it? Ah, uh, integrity was mm -hmm. number one part of the upbringing. He saw that, and then uh, the work itself. I'm very very passionate about anything you know that I set out to do. Uh, as a student, when uh, back then, when Alibaba came on campus from airport pickup to ever and then he was wondering i mean this is a student putting all of this together mm -hmm. and that was when he said your sense of packaging mm -hmm. is tight and come and make yourself useful after mm -hmm. school in lagos and even when i was reluctant he made it possible that uh, you know i i found myself in lagos mm -hmm. and as soon as i came i became his uh, personal assistant. assistant and later became is uh, event manager. And there's one beautiful side of the story, yeah. which I think uh, a lot of people, a lot of interviews, they haven't uh, gotten from me. Yeah. Uh, when I came to work with Alibaba as his personal assistant, one day, the, the mom came okay. to spend like holidays yeah. and what have you. And then funny enough, I didn't know the mom was uh, you know, the mother to Alibaba, but she happened to be someone mm. that I knew from growing up oh. that I usually would help out, you know, to fetch water. Then they had okay. one stubborn uh, boy, a mobile, who would grab some money from the house okay. and to play table tennis where I do my oh, board man. Board man. Yeah. And then I would, because I know that for his age, he's not supposed to have access to that kind of money. Mm. So I would grab the money for him, beat him up, take him back to the mother. <laughs> And then I used to help her fetch water and Aww. what have you. So when she came, you know, the son met me on his own on his from defense, nowhere. Yeah. And then she was the one now telling Alibaba, about this boy, this, this is man. what he used to do and this, how come? So it was more like God, yeah. you know, make it in. That must have deepened his yeah. own conviction I'm supposed to help this and guy. And for me, I was, I was moved from BQ to the main house. Oh, hallelujah, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> So, well, you, you see how mm -hmm. being good yeah. just has its return. No, it does. Especially what you said about, you know, Alibaba picking on you. Mm -hmm. Because excellent. Some people are selling pure water and they sell it anyhow. Mm -hmm. But you'd be amazed who is watching. True. You were organizing a small show in your school and then that big shot saw it and mm -hmm. said, you know what, I'll give you accommodation. Come mm -hmm. to, I can't even, I mean. And one of the reasons why I'm very, very passionate about uh, uh, upcoming comedians and people who are also in the industry because I, I just have this impression that God used Alibaba as a vision mm. helper. Yeah. And uh, for me, uh, the same God can punish me mm. if I refuse to, you yeah, know, open up uh, or create the platform for others, Definitely. such uh, comedians. We, we have a couple of names to your <laughs> credit, your open <laughs> mic event, there's mm. Elenu, Sheilo, mm. Akko. Mm. When we return, we'll continue <laughs> this hot conversation. See you in a Okay, bye. <laughs>
uh, I'm not going to sit here and begin to, to brag mm. and begin to bask in that euphoria like I have everything going for me. Uh, but uh, I am one brand that enjoys grace. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, a lot of people will be like, mm, tell us the real thing, leave this grace matter. And, uh, but yes, it's, it's, it's grace, number one. Um, because um, when I look at AY, AY is not the most talented comedian uh, out there, actor or what have you. I, I, I will sit here and I will give you 20 names of guys who are funnier than AY, you know. But then it happens. Okay, but so I, apart I give from it, Grace, I give it, I give it, yeah. I, I'm, uh, uh, ad work is part of it. I work extra hard and I'm very, like I said before now, I'm very, very passionate about anything that I set out to do. Okay. And I have uh, a guiding principle of, you know, uh, not giving up, not looking okay. back, okay. Irrespective, uh, irrespective of what people think or what they say. I mean, a lot of people, even to date, when you see them and they call themselves the core Nollywood people, mm -hmm. and when they see you in that space, they call you a mediocre. Yeah. But what they are yet to understand. But you are selling out. But what they are yet to understand <laughs> is what's happening around this mediocre. Because one, if it happens once, you say it's a fluke. That's what I'm saying. The it's that's why you are in our chair. <laughs> it's it's on and on and on. Yeah, it's, it's it's hard work and research. I do a lot of research mm. and um, I I I love to do something that hasn't been done before. Mm. Something. Uh, I think outside the box. Okay. And I do not uh, play down, I don't compromise quality okay. as well. Uh, if it costs me a small amount of money to do this, my, my, my main aim will be to achieve that result than to look at the monetary value that is going to yeah, come so for, from it. money doesn't scare you. Yeah, it doesn't. Ah, if, uh, I, I mean, I like when that. I did my first movie, and a lot of people were like, is he mad to think of putting almost 50 million naira mm -hmm. in a movie? But then, it hasn't been done before, mm -hmm. but I needed to go to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I needed to, you know, bring in one or two elements that will spice so when it up. When you are sitting in front of investors us. or sponsors, like mm -hmm. when you were trying to probably, yeah. I want to believe you didn't, all of the 50 million was in your money. Uh, the, funny enough, it has always been my money. I've never for once had a sponsor coming. I just recently started getting partners who already have an understanding of this is a marketable yeah. brand. Yeah. And if we so partner with it. So you're saying when him, you were spending 50 million. I didn't, I didn't have to go. It's just like, it's like walking from one source and say, okay, AY Life, give me S Y amount of money. It's like saying you give me, and then you I put know. it in a different direction that you have never, know you know, is. done business in before. And a lot of people will be wondering, like, okay, it's gonna go down, it's gonna fail. And then, oh my they, gosh, they your are, life must be so exciting. <laughs> they're always happy. I and I also like it when they don't see me coming. Mm. Is 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 something that gives me that excitement because oh. I love being underrated. I oh. love being. Seen as I love underdogs, by the way. You know, because Iwa is a comedian, there's the possibility mm -hmm. that a lot of strong things he's just said in this mm -hmm. answer might be. Mm -hmm. He's talked about hard work, the power of hard work. Mm -hmm. You said something so important. You said, I don't give up. Because I do business as well, and I know what you mean by that mm -hmm. statement. There's, there's no big project you set out for, and you won't meet that roadblock mm -hmm. that tells you, oh, it's not possible. Mm -hmm. But I think it's the extra special people like you mm -hmm. that will say, you know what, this is it, right? I'm going to rise above it and still hit my True. target. So I know what you mean and I respect you, sir. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> I love your hair, by the way. I love you look good. You. I love the watch. Okay, I love the good. shoes. You okay. look dapper. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I appreciate it. But yeah, he's not going yet. Mm. When we return, he will definitely, you'll be meeting our corporate game changer, of mm. course. Then there'll be game time between our AY and the corporate game changer. I can't mm. wait for you guys game. to experience that. There'll See be you a game. in a bit.